So I say to all of you assembled on this field today, you are the best trained, you are the bravest, you are the most conditioned, you are the best force America has ever assembled. And I'm just honored and proud to be here today with my wife, Jill. Fifteen months ago, our country called you to serve in Iraq. For some of you, this was not your first deployment. You arrived in a country that was on the brink of a civil war, a country that I first visited over six years ago. I've been back about a dozen times. And watching the circumstance in which you walked into with a country on the brink of a civil war, a country that experienced widespread sectarian violence while insurgents targeted our troops on a daily basis. Thousands of young men and women prior to your arrival, injured or killed, fighting like the devil to get MRAPs built to take place of up-armored Humvees, watching their Dover Air Force bases, so many of these young warriors made their last their last and final journey home to their country. You went in the midst of what was an uncertain future for Iraq, and you left. You left five or six days ago. You left behind a country in which violence is being replaced by progress.